Critical systems are those that must be highly dependable because the losses incurred by potential failures are unacceptable. If you are building a critical system, you could have a problem if any of the following apply. First, if you have not characterized the worst case failures for your system, then probably you're exposed to risks that you don't realize. Next, if you have not assigned safety integrity levels or the equivalent to the various hazards in your system, then you're probably not dealing with risk appropriately. Finally, if your validation plan does not match up with the actual exposure in terms of exposure hours that you will have with your deployed fleet, then you're in for some unpleasant surprises once you deploy. Critical systems require low failure rates because the cost of failure is unacceptable. The most obvious form of critical system is a safety critical system. A safety critical system is one in which loss of life or personal injury or significant environmental damage could occur if the system fails. Safety critical systems that can result in death in particular require special care to avoid adverse system failures. Some systems are mission critical, even though they don't involve direct harm to people. A mission critical system failure can result in brand tarnish, significant financial loss, or even company failure. Take, for example, Knight Capital. In 2012, this Wall Street company basically went under when a computer software configuration error led to the loss of $440 million in just a few minutes. For practical purposes, that software error killed the company. It is appropriate to consider treating a mission-critical system as though it were safety-critical to ensure an adequate level of software quality and sufficiently low failure rates.